Hey everyone, Carlos here with Bearable Traders. And in this video, I want to share something with you that can help both you and me become better traders, right? As you guys know, when it comes to trading, there are three things that are crucial, technology, strategy, and psychology. These three things have to be working together to make a complete trade, right? And with that, you have mentorship to kind of glue everything together. And that's the way we teach our courses over at Bearable Traders. So if you want to learn more about that, um, visit bearabletraders.com and we'll walk you through the entire process. I even have a free class for you guys every single Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. You can join on that. I'll put a link in the bottom of this video. But going back to our point here, psychology, that third pillar is usually the ones that falls apart a little bit here and there. Even after you've been trading for years, I've been trading for about four years now and I have no issues with technology. I know my technology very well. I have no issues with strategies. I can add more strategies, but the ones I'm trading now, I have no problems with. Psychology is the one that's going to get you. So your trading mindset is the one that at times is going to let you down or your discipline is going to falter, right? Um, and that's what happened here. Let me give you some context on this day on this trading day um the cpi numbers were released the spy was very volatile um Ever, all those stocks were moving very aggressively. Some of the moves we saw today, we haven't seen in years. With that said, I had a great initial trade on NEO. I took a short and we just crushed it. We hit it out of the park, amazing trade. We were basically done for the day, but there were still so many other opportunities. And this is where Uber came along, right? So this trade here, um, an amazing trade started setting up the SPY and the overall markets pushing up. Everything is rebounding nicely. Um, I go in for a long here, this a little bit of a chase, right? No problem. I took in that enough share sizing, knowing that I might want to add to this or that the entry is not so great, you know, don't take a full size. Just as we expected, it does come down, retest the VUAB. Look at this beautiful higher lows here happening. That's always, to, for me, a great indication this thing wants to go higher, not looking to go lower, right? So we go ahead and ask some more. Now we got a full size on this thing, right? We get immediately an incredible push all the way to 26 bucks, guys. I decide not to follow my original style of trading, which is taking partial on the way up. Part of the reason not following my plan is because we already had made our goal. If I look at my PL here, just for context, right? We made our goal on Neo. This was an amazing trade, you know, on, on the breakdown when we had the short. And then Uber was just going to be, hey, if we get if we can get something else, take advantage of other opportunities, let's do it. For some reason, I don't follow my plan here. So what happens is this thing goes all the way up here. By the time it decides to put a limit order to get filled, I don't get filled. I should have just taken a market order, right? This is the part about your mindset letting you down. It's not the technology. It's not the platform. Um, it's not my skills. I, I got skills. I got skills. It's my mindset, right? My mindset, maybe because I had the first win, I'm feeling comfortable, maybe a little bit over cocky. I didn't feel over cocky at that time, but maybe some of that, right? You got to be real with yourself. You got to be real honest. You got to dig deep and see what caused that psychological breakdown. And then I do decide to put in an order here. I put a limit order that sat there the whole day. Then I got fixated on getting to the previous day close again, right? Comes right back down, tests my entry at 25, 12, I believe it was. Um, and then it comes right back up. Now here we're up a thousand dollars again, right? And I still, I still have my limit order waiting for it to get hit, right? So if you think about that now, it's kind of sounds a little psycho now thinking about it, but these are the mental collapses that you have at times. Sometimes not in this way where they're in the profit area, right? It's always nice to have these issues in this case where you know, you, you're not hurting your account. It can also happen the other way. Let's say this was in a short position and I was in the hole, right? And being hard headed, right? So it can happen both ways, not just about green or, or red. It's about the psychology breakdown that can happen. This is why it's so important to keep psychology in check. You are never going to be a perfect trader. You are going to have these issues. They're going to be less and less and, you know, and, and much further apart. I haven't done something like this in a very long time and can't remember. It does happen and I'm learning from it. I hope you can learn from it. So important to be part of a community, part of a team that focuses on psychology like our moderators do over at BBT. So definitely check us out. Tons of stuff there that is going to help you become a better trader. So hopefully you learn from this. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Carlos M at BBT. Send me a DM. Let's keep in contact. That is a great way for us to communicate and comment on this video as well. And let me know if you have been through something similar like this, whether red or green and some of the things that you're doing to become a better trader. So hope to hear from you soon, guys, and take care and I'll see you in the next video.